see this is not the type of video where i'm going to tell you um you have to stay consistent you have to you, you have to make sure you're blah, blah 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 you know take it easy it's going to happen just watch that no that's bullshit i'm here to tell you the exact things you need to do to grow your instagram page i'm born black and a proud one melanie papi shagani you're tight yeah i'm a proud one i be king you be queen you're on this continent and move beyond that i would say you be nothing man what is up you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is this girl me and number one okay okay but then if you are not new hey baby welcome to my channel and another bombastic video all right guys so in today's video we are going to talk about insta growth okay we are going to be working with this selfie kind of situation for some time because i broke my tripod mm -hmm. so and it's all part of the game okay but having said that if you, this is the first time you're seeing this pretty face on your screen, hey boy, hey, hey girl, hey. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to go in fast, 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 fast. You get what I mean, right? To go on Instagram, the first thing that needs to cross your mind is you have to be exposed. When I say that, I mean you need to be noticed. Somebody needs to see you because you can't blow without no getting to be noticed, okay? So the first point is exposure. What do I mean by that? There are two ways to get exposed. By paying to be exposed and also by getting yourself the exposure. Mm -hmm. you have to be noticed to grow on instagram so let me let me take you through the one where you pay to be exposed okay there are big pages or let me say advertising pages influencers and all that that you pay to be exposed they'll post you on their page it's the normal thing okay like you, they'll post you on your page for people to get to know you there is a disadvantage and there is an advantage i've gone through all that like i've gone through all this okay i've gone through all this and that is why this video is kind of chaotic okay so there is a disadvantage with paying people to actually expose you i think there is more disadvantages to the advantages it gives you fine you could be lucky some people i've i've, I've come across people who actually paid and were exposed and you know they've got quite a good number of people to follow them that is right okay but then what if you don't have what they want because i paid some pages to you know advertise me like i said when i was starting my growth and yeah people will follow you okay they will follow you but then with time they will unfollow you why because they don't really know you for you they were asked to follow you or probably they are going to give you fake followers they want to show you that their page works they want to show you their influence so of course they probably might give you fake followers but let's take it from this angle like how i grew with time this is the second one okay second one is doing that yourself getting yourself noticed by yourself on your page so this is how the social media world is nowadays you hype me i hype you back you hype me you get noticed period so to get yourself noticed it's so simple okay all what you have to do is follow pages that are active let me break it down from here so this is what you do once you follow an active page you get to notice active followers they comment reasonable comments when i say reasonable that is one thing that you should be so 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 careful about an active page post at least that is the least they can do once a week an active page always has a story always has a story try as much as possible <laughs> to slave under those pages i tell you the honest truth instagram brought this feature where when you can now like somebody's story you can now you know engage with somebody's story and all that please try and make good use of that when you like somebody's story the creator gets to notice you that is one secondly instagram pushes you or your page to stories like that so let's say i'm dancing on my page right in my story and then you click the like if you go through your stories instagram will suggest people who are doing similar content or people who do similar things that i do let's say my page is a dancing page no my page actually is a lifestyle page so let's say my page is a lifestyle page and you like what i do right and you like it instagram is going to suggest more lifestyle pages to you people that most likely do what i do and you know what you have to do then go and hype them up hype them up in their stories hype them up in their in their comment section you get noticed and you also find people who wants to get noticed 
that is how you grow okay so what do you have to do let's say my page right i mean i have to advertise my page i'm exposing myself exposure so let's say my page right there are some frequent people that always comment meaningful comments and also when you follow my page and you comment people who do this i've got this I'm, I've, I've been getting this a lot okay people who do this will tell you anytime we like comment and share your post we get a follower yes there's a difference between a huge page and a big page and a small page when i say a huge page there are these people with a million followers if you are starting off like with a hundred two hundred two thousand even in thousands there is no way you are going to get followers from a million page they, they don't see you. they all have a community people people under a million are fighting under a page of a million people under thousands are fighting under a page of a uh, you get me hundred thousands people below thousands are fighting under the pages of people with thousands that's the trick first trick that's what you're supposed to do so when you have that trick first you should write some things down okay baby because i took my time to get these things together so you have to put some things down and some things down bitch so like i'm saying you have to actually know that it comes in stages and that is why you are following that one million page doing all these things let me hype these people let me but nobody is noticing you you go under someone that you're supposed to go under is this is the painful truth it took me time to know that what are you going to do after now you found out that this page is an active page? What you have to do is steal their followers, active ones, of course. I know it's kind of weird, and but that's the trick. That is the trick. Ask any good Instagrammer. Ask any page that is doing well. They'll tell you I am telling you the truth. It's all about stealing. How do you steal it? By hyping them up when they actually make a comment under a post from that page a creator can pin your comment if it's really meaningful so let's say the person posted about this phone okay and was like oh maybe iphone is overrated and then that is the, the post and then i come and leave a meaningful comment yeah i actually agree because it's been like let's say a year since they dropped another phone and it's so unreasonable and i take my time for the creator to know that i'm actually engaging and agreeing and have the same share the same sentiment come on if you are the creator you obviously will pin my comment for people to know that it's, you are not only in your head you actually are speaking people's mind so leaving a meaningful comment under a page is very very important another way to get small followers on instagram is you like the person's comment on that page and then now you like my comment on that person's page and now you come to my page and also hype me up probability that you are going to be followed back is on the on the 99 percent unless the person isn't active of course and it's only active for that page because the person automatically thinks that you guys have something in common you like their comments you also follow people like you guys have a, a common following and for that matter there could be content that you create that the person might like you guys could be friends that's a good active follower right there the second thing you that you have to do is make sure now that you have been able or succeeded to steal all the followers on instagram make sure you're creating good content when i say good content i don't mean content that you love i mean content that is worth the time of people there are contents that you create and then you're like oh my god i feel so pretty today let me take a picture you feel pretty and that is why you took the picture but then girl your picture is blurry nobody cares about that blurry photo if i like it today probably because you're my friend i'm going to comment oh wow nice but then there's nothing to see how do i comment you get the point so all what you have to do is work on your content there is no way i am going to follow a page or an active follower when we say active follower these are people who are on instagram and admire people that is an active follower i'm not saying an, an instagram page an active follower is what you're looking for there is no way an active follower is going to stick with you if your content isn't given so what you have to do is actually work on your content by taking good photos by making sure you've taken your time to edit the photo by making sure you are giving your followers what they want the last thing that you need to do is advertise yourself aside you getting yourself noticed and all that what you have to do too is to advertise yourself when i say advertising yourself 
it's different from you stealing followers or getting notice when i say advertising yourself getting people to spam your page first of all get some friends who are going to turn on their post notification so that when you post they are the first to like and comment the moment you get people to turn on their post notification for all your posts this is what instagram thinks you are giving them traffic on instagram so what they are going to do is push you to a wider range of people and that is why you'll be found on the explore page so you can share yourself or you can encourage your followers the little followers that you have it could be one two three if those three instagram followers have turned on their post notification and the moment you post you get those people to like comment do something instagram is going to push you to a wider range of people that is the friends of your followers to know that you exist and you create traffic for them and the algorithm accepts you so they are going to push your page to a wider range and that is how you get discovered stop posting cheap reels i can't get enough of this stop posting cheap reels there is no way instagram is going to push your reel if it is from tiktok people do these things and trust me when you post tiktok on the reel instagram is confused and it's like why are you promoting another social media on my page they shadow band you they don't want you to go out because they will be advertising tiktok on instagram put two and two together exactly so you like your tiktok put them on your story people are going to enjoy it they're going to love it put them on your story don't put your tiktok videos on your reels create reels when you're creating reels write information in there instagram wants to know it's actually content use write music do not use copyrighted music on your tiktok when i say that oh god this is a whole lot i don't want to make this video long but then what you want to do is try and stay away from copyrighted music it's better you put them on your story but to put copyrighted music on your content on instagram instagram also do copyright in case you do not know when you have a bigger page and you are actually you've actually turned um your page to be a professional page or working page if you have this kind of profile if you have this kind of profile where it's like a working page instagram automatically knows you are working with the page so they kind of show you when you're using a copyrighted music and y'all are out there using a trending song and a trending thing it's okay to use a trending song because of course they want to you will get traffic from the trending song but you gotta drop it baby because it's only going to shadow ban your page you are creating a copyrighted content and instagram isn't gonna push that as painful as it is i think it's it's kind of harsh in here let's take it easy that is enough for how to grow your instagram and if you guys want me to go down into details about creating content because i thought the last step was actually shifting into creating content that is going to make your page blow so like i've compressed it i hope I'm, i was able to help you because these are the actual things that they don't tell you so i hope i was able to help and if you want content like this do well to put it down in the comment section i'm going to do well to come your way with content like this because i mean i've been studying this algorithm on all the social media platforms youtube instagram tiktok twitter all that so yeah i have the the experience let me say that a little bit of experience right there that i can be sharing with you so if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the like button if you are not a subscriber yet hey baby this is the right place for you click the subscribe button and comment down below if this video was helpful if you want more and also content that you would like to see in future on my channel that will be all for today i love you guys and stay blessed you all should go check my instagram okay it's this girl mimi everywhere and on instagram too and maybe you can steal a little bit of my followers how about that